Good morning, my Tubies and my TikTokers. It's Sheila True Love. It is a wonderful, wonderful Sunday morning. It's going to be a great day. As always, my Sundays, I look forward to them so much. Today, I want to talk about learning how to be stable. Now, I know that there are days when you wake up and some days you feel amazing. You feel like you can conquer the world. And then there's other days, yeah, when you wake up and you feel like you want to bite somebody's head off, you know? Because I understand, I, I've, I've had those days. But one thing that will stop us from enjoying life is if we let our emotions control us. If we were one day, I mean, if we were like one way, one day, and then we another way the next day with this constant flip-flopping back and forth, you know, that's something that we want to learn how to control. In fact, self-control is one of the fruitages of the spirit noted at Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. Now, we don't want to be these yo-yo type of Christians. We want to learn to be stable. The Bible even encourages us to be stable if we want God and Jesus Christ to use us. That's equated with being spiritually mature. That's associated with spiritual maturity. We have to stop letting our emotions control us. We have to learn how to manage our emotions. And that's why the Bible speaks of self-control. When you read Proverbs chapter 25, verse 28, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. And like I already mentioned, uh, self-control is one of the fruitages of the spirit. So in order for us to enjoy our, our life every day, we have to stop letting our emotions control us. As you know, today is Sunday, my spiritual day. When I, li I watch my spiritual movies, oh man, I got so much accomplished already. I washed my hair, took my shower, mopped, the, cleaned up my house completely. I feel so wonderful. Sundays, are, it's the favorite day out of the week for me. Well, Saturday also, because I get to spend time with my, <clears throat> my son and also with my, my new, uh, community that I've just recently joined. You know, I've met some really nice people. I had a really, really great time on Friday evening, but today is my little house in the prairie touched by an angel and my highway to heaven day. I love this day. I already did my ministry work for my community. So I want you to have a great day. I love you.